All right, we are in the uh, Globe Series 9-hole cup. I'm in my auto account. I'm going to play a uh, pro round. I've been trying to play pro in the 9-hole cups, and uh, sometimes I, if I don't really need a practice account in the main tournaments, I've been playing pro, but I think we have a fall major next week, so I'll probably play just rookie. Maybe. Maybe. You got to... If you're playing in multiple, like if you've got your stuff set up, you really want to have, it's not as important today because we do have practice tokens, but it is important that you get around, you know, having a practice account that's at the same level that your main account's at. And then playing two pros or two experts or two masters or whatever it is. But if you're playing in multiple brackets, so you're playing some in rookie and some in pro and some in expert, it is a chore. It's a chore. So I haven't really, like, hugely been taking notes for the pro stuff. I've been just going out there and playing. <clears throat> I do have a few notes for the shots to the cup, but we're just going to go play it. So let's go look at hole number one. Vineyard Acres. All right, hole number one. I think if I come over here with a three power ball and I do max overpower, I can get over here and just try and go for the green. I think you could bring out a big topper and a power three ball from right here and run it up. And you probably, I don't know that you could get any farther than that with just a regular, regular ball. If you had a top spin boost ball, maybe. This is all uphill here, so it's going up the hill to the green. So you're losing, as it goes up, it's, it's not going to, if it was downhill, we could easily get there, I think. I'm just going to try and go over with an extra mile. Now, the wind here is 200%. So if you are hitting on the other side and trying to just like bounce over and then run up towards the cup, if the wind is fucking 10 miles an hour, it's going to throw you forward about 20 without any overpower. So if you leave yourself two or three rings of separation and then just pull the wind out and add on like 10 or 20%, um, you could be in trouble. <laughs> I found two of the holes here yesterday that I was doing shots that I needed to do. Two times the wind. I don't think I need that much. I need about five. I'm going to hit it right there. 10-4. Let's think. It's going to push it out to my white ring out there. Isn't it perfect? A little too far. Hey, thanks for putting the signs out there, Playdemics, that are in play. So you can sell Monarch Legacy of Monsters. And you can sell that stuff and you, you can make some cheddar off of it. Hey, that's good. Somebody got a gold star. You make more money for the company by selling that space. But uh, I just have to say thanks for putting them in play. This is two times. I screwed this hole up yesterday, too. Part of it was I didn't do a big enough adjustment there. Not even close. And once again, I, I was just saying, like, two seconds before I took that shot, that you needed to do a massive adjustment, and then I went out and didn't take my own advice. Oh, I thought I got that. I thought I had it. I thought I did. My distance was... I think that was enough distance. Maybe. If it had been on track, it might have been right on the lip. Oh. 
I'm not sure what it will take in pro to get in. I'm sure in the weekend round, like, okay, the way that these courses always work in golf classes, they're minus 12 is minimum score. I mean, you can call that par, golf class par. It's minimum score. The And hole number nine in this course is basically, it's not our normal type of par five. It's a birdie hole with an eagle opportunity instead of an eagle hole with an alby opportunity. So that means our minimum score is 11. And one of the other par fives is pretty difficult. I think about half the bracket are, are going to at least fail on it once per round. So, um, you know, some people would argue that it might be 10 and a half, but we're, it's 11 is the minimum score. So if we can get the shit, if we get 14, I think we're in pro. I think we're definitely, if we don't win, we're definitely going to get a banner. But a 13 in a lot of brackets is going to be enough. So, and that hole right there, we have to get. I mean, that's that is some of the lowest hanging fruit on the course. And of course, I didn't get it. So, what do I know? <laughs> All right, one point three. What am I playing here? What am I playing? What kind of? I didn't write any notes down. I didn't, freak. I didn't write nothing. I didn't write nothing down. Play this hole all the time with. I'm gonna just play with them around. Let's play with an ab. We'll cut the wind down a little. I got a sniper bag somewhere. Yep. All right, here we go. Times the wind divided by wherever I'm at my club. I came on here the other day and I did like a 20 and it wasn't enough. Or I did like a 10 and it was way not enough. So I'm going to do a 30 and see if I can get on the other, if I can over pull it. <clears throat> Nine point seven divided by max twelve point six one rings. Hey, twelve point six one rings. Jeez. There's 10, 12, 6, 1. Oh, and I hit it great to the left. Arr. A little short. A little short. I had like one more backspin on there than I think I normally like. I think I had five and, I, and four is really... I wonder if you brought, not, not that I would, there's probably, if you brought out a four side spin ball and you had the right stuff, you might be able to do a rough bump off of this and bring it back over to the hole. This is where a, uh, level seven cataclysm it's got killer ball guide it's got 4.2 ball guide and it's got the distance and the stuff so like a hole like this instead of bringing in it's you're not going to have to pull as many rings i know it gets a little more accurate when it gets to level seven but i can't remember what the ring pull on it is at level six, it's 1.7, 1.8 per ring, depending on ball. All right, all right, no dice. I'm gonna use the sniper and the navigator. And I was at max. If I'd have had a headwind day, I probably would have had to bring out a katana. Let me make a note here. Headwind equals katana. All right. Hole number three. I have no recollection what hole number three is. Why is that? Why? All right. All right. We, we have a serious Alvi shot here with serious Alvi shot. Which way is the wind blowing on this? 
All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna bring my number five back. I'm gonna bring a. I'm gonna bring a kingmaker. And I can bring a titan if I bring my number five back. Let's think about it. I'm gonna bring a kingmaker, and I'm gonna bring my number one bag. I don't. I have a. I won't need that big dog, so we'll just take the number one. Here now, this is another one of those holes that it is definitely kicking on the drive. And you do not want to overshoot this down on the bottom. The area that we're kind of trying to come down here rolls off like this. So if you do overshoot it, the wind pushes you. Like here's the rough down here. You'll hit that fairway on the curvature and it'll make your ball run flat. Now sometimes it'll hit that and run flat. And then on the other side it catches a slide and it'll go for a mile. But it can also just come right across the other side and dig into that rough or dig into this face. And you end up right here. It can go south. See what my opponent's gonna do. Nice, nice until that very last four or five feet. And they still got a great shot from there, though. Great. Wind's blowing me that way, so and I got. I'm gonna just do 7.8 times divided by two, 429, do four and a half. Getting it perfect. We'll see if I. Uh, Gave myself enough room on the other side, or if I end up doing exactly what my opponent did. Exactly. I tried to get a little more distance with the extra mile, and the APOC had more curl. <coughs> All right. I swear we should be taking it like 5% off. Eight, nine, five times whatever the wind is divided by wherever I'm at in my nirvana and I'm doing the rough bump as well great I might get a second look nope all right let's see if we can get that ball to just stop in the cup 7.9 divided by, and yeah, there's max, there's mid, I'm at mid club, divided by 4, 1.9 rings. Point nine. Isn't it perfect? Get in the hole. Oh, rad bastard. I had it surrounded. <laughs> did I, which way was, did I under pull that slightly? I think I did slightly under pull it. I took a little off. I took 5% off. It was 1.87. If I wouldn't have done the 5% off, I'd have taken it straight up. It would have been 197, so it would have been what it was plus 1. <clears throat> that might have been it. That might have been it. It would have been closer. <laughs> Dang it. 
All right, let's make a note here. I'm going to take that at zero. Plus zero to cup. And we'll see if we can work that out. And I'm going to take an APOC. I'm going to make sure I take an APOC from now on and a Kingmaker. All right, hold on one second. All right, all right, all right. Dang it. See what we can get going on hole number four. What is hole number four? Hole number four looks like sniper, nav, min club, 1.2 plus 15. That's what my notes say. All right. Sniper. Sniper, navigator. Navigator. My notes say 1.15 times whatever the wind is divided by 1.2 per ring. Here we go. Here we go. I suppose I could bring out a bigger ball, maybe. Could bring out a bigger ball and hit this with my grizzly. I'm not sure if I did that. No, I think I'd have to bring out bigger than a three power ball. Uh, yeah. I don't know that it's possible. Okay, whatever kind of eyeball adjustment that was. Jeez. And it'll go in. <laughs> a little over pull. <clears throat> Just a little. 11. 10.54 rings. Ten point five four rings. There's ten. There's five four. Oh fuck! And there's a seventy five thousand ring great to the left. I think that would have been closer. <laughs> that was like a ring and a half. I. It's one of those deals where it's right on the out. It was probably one ring if you went back and looked at it, but it was like right on the edge of the one ring, two ring. It looked like it was a mile off. And the way that Playdemic measures distance, it is a mile off. notes for hole number five say two and a half rings off plus 90 percent all right all right there's okay so what i was trying to do the other day was with an apoc any any kingmaker no i was using a, a titan no i was using a kingmaker i was in this area right here Max topspin, looking off in that direction, I gave myself two and a half rings in this area and did a max curl shot to try and run up the fairway to get that run. And I went and practiced this hole twice. And the first time I came down in here and I left myself three rings of separation and I took off like 20% wind and I ended up out here. The wind was blowing like this and it like just completely... Blew me. And this is no overpower. 
So I came back and I did a 50% and I barely clipped and then I came back and did a 90% and finally hit in the fairway. And I think even with the 90% I hit, if you looked out there where I was at and I was three rings off here, I hit somewhere in between. <laughs> the first time I did make it over, I over curled it and then I moved it out to try and give me a little bit better room and then I ended up moving it out too far. I came out three rings off of that and I think the two and a half goes right down the middle. So let's practice it once and see if that holds. Now, the surefire way to do this, okay, let's, let's think about like what's gonna happen on the other side. If I can get out over to here and you bring a sniper, you're gonna have to hit off of here. Unless you brought like a five power ball, you won't be able to get to the rough bump. It's not enough club. You'd have to hit up into this area with a three power ball in order to get your sniper so that you can do the rough bump. So if you're wanting to take this shot over here with a sniper, you need to bring out a big ball. The other way to do it is to bring out a big ball and just try and hit over here and run your top spin out so that you can just get over to that fairway. You can lay it up down here, which is super easy, and you got a shot. Now, this is a difficult shot, the second shot. The second shot is probably more difficult than the drive to get yourself out here. But you can get up there and get your eagle. But if you can get over here, you actually have a pretty decent Albi shot. So let's see if we can get over there. Let's let's try it again. I don't have, I didn't write down any any notes as far as like what I was using for ball or any of that shit. So, but I do know one thing. That if you do, if I do get over to the other side and APOC without a big hitting club is is not gonna. I need a. I need something that hits big, big dog cataclysm. A horizon would work. It's got well, even it doesn't have as much. Uh, pretty close distance. Good ball guide. A horizon wouldn't be a bad choice. I'm gonna take a cat. And I'm going to take a cut, a kingmaker. And let's take a let, 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 let's take a titan. I think I was doing it with a titan yesterday. Was I? Let's take a kingmaker. Here we go. We're going to practice once. Practice hole number five. Two and a half rings off plus 90%. Now, what's funny is I hit the shot with my 22 account where I just went all the way down the fairway on the right, all the way down to the tip, and then went out that way. And down there, I was doing a 15% adjustment. I did a 10, and it did push me over, so I raised it up a little and to be in the center right through this lane coming through but when I was here that number did not work <laughs> three I don't know how many rings that was There's a few. Out in the clear, in the fairway, 362. Yeah, I want to see that practice. Practice, okay. Practice. Practice. I was at like the plus three mark, I think. Two and a half rings off. Two and a half rings off. 8.9 divided by 1.5. 11.27 rings. There's 10. There's 11.27. Hitting it perfect. Now let's see where it lands and see if it's 
that's perfect perfect and it it did it it i it that pull i was definitely far away from it that's good that might be a big over pull there but i can tell you yesterday ending up in the rough there you can't recover from the rough and i do not want to end up in the rough if i can do a 90 and still make it across i'm good to go good to go now obviously you're going to be able to do that on any day where there's tailwind or sidewind but on a headwind day you need to have that other shot the shot that my opponent took you need to have this shot in your bag because there's going to be certain wind days that like this is the way to go because you just need to go up there and secure your eagle and that second bounce rough bump doing exactly what my opponent did that is i believe the preferred that it's gonna, you're going to end up doing that a lot I don't know if I have enough here. Barely. Barely. Shit, I don't, really. I'd rather be right there. Nine point eight divided by one point eight. Six rings. Getting it perfect. <laughs> and I over pulled that. I did a 10% on it at Max Club and I over pulled it. That's good to know. And th that shot is an uphill shot. We should actually be taking a little off. So it is good to know that uh, that did happen on the minus 10. To go. go the other side all right i did a 10 percent on that but i definitely over pulled it now it could have been from where i was at in the rough being that deep in it but i think the next time i get here i'm definitely just going to do it at zero i might even take some off just to see all right all right now we got to go play it thinking out loud. I'm just thinking to myself here. A bigger ball is not going to help me. The only thing that would help me is if I had a Thompson boost ball and I have some five power Thompson boost balls, but I don't have any three power ones. A four power ball would help me on the other side so that I could get in a better spot for that rough bump. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. All right, 1.9 times two and a half rings off, like plus three, plus four mark. That's the one thing about if you're, if you have rounds where one round you can play it with a power three ball and the next round, you know, with the wind direction, you may have to change your ball keeping track of where you're at like are you starting off with the power three ball at the red line at plus 16 or did you pull back if you pull back to the plus four mark with a power three ball and you pull back to the plus four mark with a power 2700 ball they're the same spot <laughs> two and a half rings Seven one seven point one divided by one point five nine rings. Getting it perfect. needed a little more angle I need I think I was at the plus six I needed to pull it back a little bit more all 
I think I can recover from there though. Nah, it'll be tight, but I think it's possible. And with the wind blowing as much as it is, they can probably hit over there just with a power three ball because that wind is going to like blast them. And that's probably the smarter way to go at it. The other one's a real finesse shot. You got to, and every time the wind changes direction, it's going to be, it, it'll be, you'll have to make adjustments for that wind. But like that right there, anytime we have a neutral or positive wind, we're at bastards. The wind's gonna blow me. The wind's gonna blow me over here. And that was good. And that was good. That works. <laughs> Whatever gets me over to the green side so we can get our eagle, that's what works. Recovered. It wasn't pretty. Guardian would work really good here. You got pretty good ball guide, 3.9 ball guide with the Guardian. And the Guardian gives you some options as far as the backspin. I still think the rough bump right here is definitely a better shot than that backspin. And I have no fucking clue what my opponent just did as far as adjustment. The way the wind's blowing and adjusting from there, you would have had to adjust it over the sand, but, like, they could have, they could have made that so that it was closer. Much closer. Let's see if I can hit perfect. Hit it one ring great to the right. In the hole! Woo! All right. We needed to get the eagle there. We had to get the eagle. I tried to make it tough on myself. I think the brute force method that my opponent did right there is just brute forcing it over is definitely the way to go. The finesse deal is... The finesse deal can work, but it, I don't think it'll work consistent. Hold on one second. Man, that coffee was going right through me. I was bouncing. I'm lucky I made that shot. <laughs> All right. Hole number six. Hole number six. What do my notes say? My notes say rock katana. I know exactly what this hole is. Let's get that bag. That's bag number two. Bag number two. And then we're going to go glance at it just to make sure. The second shot with the sniper. Might be better served with a... Let's think. What are my wood choices? Let's see what... To get a little good ball guide, definitely don't have to move that very many rings. What is my horizon? Horizon. Uh, maybe. I will tell you the thing about the horizon is if you hit it perfect, it's perfect. If you don't hit it perfect, uh, it's not. Um, it's not so much. <laughs> it's not so much. Hmm. Just because the winds are so high here, that horizon would be like super good. Let's let's. I'm gonna. I'm going to use. I'm gonna take that horizon. Why not? Why not? Get some good ball guide here. We just need to hit it perfect. Let's go make sure I got good numbers. 
I don't use my horizon all the time, so let's make sure I got some good number. Let's make sure the numbers I have written down are right, because I think the numbers I have written down are for my 77 account, and I have a level 7 horizon, and at level 7 it picks up some accuracy. It does. And then it's basically the same as an extra mile. So a level 6 horizon at max club with a 2 power ball is 2.3. Let me make that note here. Um, horizon. Uh, horizon is 2 .3, 2 .6, 2.3, 2.6, 2.0, 2.6, 3.0. And we're going to be at probably somewhere between mid and min. So between the 2.6 and the 3.0. There we go. Let's try a horizon out. Let's take it for a spin. I got a katana picked. We are ready to roll. And my notes say plus 20 on the drive times, whatever the wind is. And the way, if the wind's blowing from the left or from the right to the left, you need to push the wind out. And if the wind's blowing any other direction, we can do it like normal. But there's trees on the right hand side and you won't be able to pull the wind out. You'll have to push it. If I can get an opponent, I say that, and then I immediately get Philippe. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my teammate Randy. He posted posted a shot that he was talking about little G string shots. Ten point five, twelve point six rings. Little little g-string I'm gonna put just a titch of axman 12.6 rings there's 10 11 12 6 hitting it perfect Perfecto. That'll probably put me mid club. Closer to mid than men, I think. And I got mid club at 2.6, so if I have to do, like if it's at three quarter club, the difference between mid at 2.6 and minimum at three is four. So three quarter club, or like quarter club would be like 2.8. Here we... And I was adding on 20% times okay here we go here we go where am i at there's men there's max there's mid i am at mid so 9.5 divided by mid club which is 2.6 4.38 rings let's be dead center Four point three eight rings. Hey, thanks for putting those signs out there, Play Demic. Four. Four. Getting it perfect. Get in the hole. Not even freaking close. Not even close. All right, we over pulled it. Do do do. It's hard to tell. 
it's hard to tell with that club because I, if I added some wind on, if I took what I added, I, t I added 20% on there. I have no idea why my note said that. My note said one to one plus 0.2, and I was hitting it at minimum sniper. So if I added on 20%, that's how I came up with the one to one plus 0.2. That was definitely an over pull with the horizon. Definitely, definitely. Kmart sucks. Isn't it perfect? In the hole, birdie. All right, we have not picked anything up, and we really missed the opportunity on hole number one. That means I have to pick up hole number nine. There is a way to get up there and get an easy eagle on hole number nine. And what's funny is, is I got an eagle in my 22 account. <laughs> hole number seven. All right. Hole number seven. Sniper. Now, this is another one of those ones where the horizon might not be a bad deal. Whatever the wind is, divided by where am I going to be at in my club? I'm going to take the same bag with a navigator. Let's take a nav. We'll try it out. We'll take it for a spin. We'll try that horizon. Here we go. Here we go. Question is, where am I going to be in my horizon? I think it's probably towards max, but this club hits a little bit farther, so it, I may be, I think I am at max. Vineyard Acres. I do not like this pin placement on this hole. This is a great hole in this pin placement. And it's only like freaking two squares away from the old pin placement, but it definitely sucks. And it sucks because of the distortion of the green because of the sand trap. And so it's distorting out into the, you can see where it's distorting out here into the green and where we're hitting on the old pin placement. We're hitting right on the back side of it so you can kind of get a good run. But where we're hitting for this one, it's on the side of that hill. So it's on a hillside. And it can take irregular bounces. Horizon. Okay, there's Max. There's Min. So I'm at mid club right here. I'm at Min. Nine divided by minimum club is three. So 3.45 rings. Three, four, five. There's the four or five. Oh, no. There's one, two, three. All right. I'm off. I got screwed up on my track. I'm going to end up in the sand. <laughs> I didn't pull it enough. I was like, I, I got screwed up. That was me. That was my fault. That wasn't the club. That was me. Pulled it like one ring less than I was supposed to. Are we gonna screw up on the are we gonna screw up and not even qualify? That's what the deal is gonna be. Chip in the draw. Alright, let's chip in, in the draw. Let's do that. What in the hell is the deal here? Mm. 
No dice. That screwed up on a par three. Look at that. Jeez. On a par three that I've played a billion times and messed up. Messed up. Did That was a piss poor. And it was only three and a half rings. Jeez. What a shit show that was. All right. I know what to do on this hole. And... the wind blowing I'm almost thinking that I want to do it this way we have we do have an APOC bag with a cataclysm and let's make sure we have a Goliath in that bag as well and let's swap that out for a guardian and I'm gonna take a katana well, in pro, I might need, I might need a kingmaker. I don't think so, though. I'm gonna just take a katana. And we will get on it. Get down on it. Let's see if we can get this going. I have zero notes on here for this. Plus 20. Drive. I was doing plus ten to the cup. I think yesterday I I was I was at that point. I'm not sure that that's right. I may need to do more, but I should, probably should take wind off. There's a pretty good funnel on the second shot. You can get in the right area. Look at how downhill that is. They'll like that spot a lot. Got her done with the Marlin. You can get her done with the Marlin. No doubt about it. No bout a doubt it. So that would be a 10, 11, let's say 10, 10, 11. There's seven, five, there's nine, there's 10, five. Isn't it perfect? And that is perfect, perfect, perfecto. Man, we should be taking window. I'm going to just do a... I'm... Fuck. I'm going to do... Man. There is a rough bump here, and that wind is blowing such that we could do the rough bump. And See if my pwn can get in. Get in the hole. Maybe. Perfect. Ew. Nice balance. Now you don't know. You could. It could go in. Let's see what a straight up. Let's see what my shot options are here. There is a rough bump. And it is a nice one. Goliath. Guardian. Ten point one. Where am I at, my guardian? I'm minimum guardian. Minimum guardian is one point five. Divided by one point five. Six point seven three rings. There's six 
0.75. Hitting it perfect. Oh, I barely hit that rough too. Barely hit it. <laughs> and definitely over pulled it just doing a straight up shot. So I probably should have taken 10% off there. Minus 10 to the cup. Let's try that next time. That is a scary ass shot. And I think the, the deal is the only, I was able to do it there because I didn't have to adjust over the sand. If I would have had to adjust over the sand, I think I would have went right at it. The Guardian gives you some options because if you want to go right at it, I think you can actually try a dunk there. And if, if you put on Max Baxman and you miss the dunk, you got a second chance when it comes down the hill. It might come down too fast and roll you off the front of the green, though. So. All right. Nine. Jeez, now I have to get, now, now I have to get, look, what's the, the breakoff points, shit, I don't think I'll be able to get in with a, with a 10, so I'm going to have to shoot an 11 in order to get in, so that means I have to get the eagle on this hole, which way's the wind blowing, the wind's blowing the our way, our direction, and I'm going to bring a bag right there. And I'm bringing a berserker. Berserker. Now, this is another one of those ones where the wind is driving you forward about twice as much. So you got to leave yourself a shit ton of room. Let's plug. Let's get it. We're, I'm going for the... Now, I can, you can recover from down here and put yourself in a, in a good shot to still hit eagle from distance. But let's... Uh, Let's, let's achieve our goal on the drive. Okay, so I'm 10 rings, like just straight out in front of me. I'm like 15 rings away from, like I got plenty of room out in front of me the wind's blowing me that direction so like I am like way got lots of room oh and I I'm gonna end up in the rough see how far that shit carried me down there <laughs> but hitting it two ranks great to the right it was closer over there I was trying to pull it to the left to give myself more room and then hitting it two rings great to the right did not uh, do me any any good I think I on that side I barely would have I it still pushed me forward twice almost twice the wind so like they're seven and a half away right there and they're gonna put on max overpower and they're gonna end up right in the rough like it's going to push down shit they're going to be two ring sets into the rough yeah yeah that's how much it, it's carrying down there dude One ring great to the right. I should be okay. It's going to be close right here. <laughs> but it should be all right. And did I clear? I cleared! I have no idea what to do to the cup. It seems like it's pretty close. Like it should be right at zero. I'm going to... We shall see. My opponent is in the rough. Let's see where we're at. Okay, I'm in my thorn. There's 
max thorns on it. There's mid. I'm in like three quarter thorn. Thorn! About three per ring. Three, or excuse me, 10.3 divided by three. 3.43 rings. Let's get lined up with the wind before we run out of time. Getting it perfect. <laughs> and bounced over it. I was trying, I, it felt like it was gonna, it's been rolling out there a little, so I was trying to pull back a little from the cup to get it to, so that it wouldn't bounce over it, it would roll into it. Got it wrong, got it wrong. Dag nabbit. Hell, I don't even know if I'm going to qualify with a 10. I shot better yesterday and tanking shots. <laughs> we shall see. I don't I don't think that that's going to be good enough to qualify, but we'll see. One less than minimum. Dang it. Shit, minimum still just trying to get to 11, and I can't even... Look at that. Look at that. What a crappy round. I'm going to be lucky if I survive to the weekend round, but uh, we will see. I mean, there's one person right there that's got us. There's two. Yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can even qualify. The top 70%, I... I, w I didn't realize that I knew this week that we had double wins, but I didn't realize they were also doing the top 70. So I guess if it's top 70, I might, I might make it. There you have it. That was a piss poor qualifying round for pro. So we have lot, I, we have tons of room for improvement. I think a couple of these holes though, I am going to play, I'm going to play different. I was trying to, this hole right here, I just need to play smart. These par threes, where is that first? This hole right here, we definitely have. I I brought, I was trying to get a little greedy and get a little more distance and brought my extra mile. And I usually take this with my APOC because you're going off in this direction and the APOC's got enough curl to get you here. The deal is you can see out here on the course, this kind of line of moguls well everything on this side is falling off towards the rough and so if you if you tail off on this side and you or if you come out it and you're and you get here you'll just run straight forward but if you get off on this side every bit that your ball is going forward it's also drifting to the left and you will end up in the rough just like i did i just need to switch what club i'm using for the drive and if you you could bring out like a rock or a quarterback may have to bring out a bigger ball or change your setup, but if you need a curl, something with curl, that would be an option. That hole's just we need to work on. This hole right here. Okay, I was trying to do the finesse where we can get the run to see if we can just run up this fairway. But I really... Every time the wind changes, you're going to have to adjust the shot a little bit with the max curl, a blind curl shot like that. But this out here just bringing out I think my opponent did it with a three power ball and just trying to blast yourself into this fairway just dribble into it remember if you're going to do this shot you want to bring out a big secondary club a big wood to try and get that rough bump and if you're just barely down here I don't know if you you know you need a little bit of distance bring out a power five ball and it'll probably give you enough room to do that rough bump every time but if we have a headwind day, you're going to need to have this shot in your bag. 
So I'm not sure that it's, you know, if we can enhance our position here and get a rough bump shot at Alby, I think it's worth going for it on, on tailwind days or sidewind days. But when we got headwind, definitely bagging this and going out here for sure. That hole I feel pretty good on. That hole right there I screwed up on, but I do feel good about that hole. And this hole right here, we have options going to the cup, and I do like the idea of bringing a guardian for the second shot. It does give you, you can still do the rough bump, and you can, but you've got, if you're going to do a backspin shot or do that, you've got access to everything that you could need. And pretty decent ball guide. This hole, I think I got to do the same thing. As long as we have a neutral day or a positive wind day going for this fairway out here is definitely the way to go. And I was trying to drive down into here because it's deeper and hitting that two ring great got me, you know, everything to the right, you're going to get, you, you can't hit it as far and getting caught up in it. I have no idea what my opponent was thinking. They had a full ring set of separation up here and on an APOC, that's 1.5 per ring times five rings is 7.5 and they had a fucking 12 mile an hour win so like look in front of you this fairway is <laughs> i mean it's not like if you get blown 12 you're gonna I, I have no clue what my opponent was thinking like that's gonna end up in the rough if you can get over here i did get over here yesterday or day before yesterday and um in this account and in my 77 account just to practice the second shot and if you bring a big dog and you get up here where you can pinch off to your red line and give yourself three rings of separation i used two backspin i probably could have used like one and a half one and a quarter but you need to use backspin to suck you around the corner you can lay it right up on the green or right on the fringe and have a short little chip so it's worth going out here this is definitely worth the risk because if you fail, just like our my opponent and I, you can get back up here. My opponent got a little bit unlucky getting in the rough. If you get over here and you can't cleanly get over to this area, quit being tunnel visioned. Like if you get over there and you're having problems here, you'd have to do overpower, bag it and shoot for this spot because you have a nice clean shot to the cup. And it's really easy to get here. You have nothing in your way. You can just shoot up there, nice clean shot, trees aren't in your way. You're using a long iron or wood. I think you're using a wood from over there. All right, there we have it. I will, uh, we'll see. Tomorrow's my birthday, so I'm, we're going to the coast tonight and we'll be over there all weekend. So we'll see how I'm doing tomorrow. I may get up tomorrow morning and play early or Dale Appleby wanted to see if I could play tomorrow or tomorrow night. So I'm, I might, I might be able to do that we'll we'll have to work it out i will see you then everybody stay safe have a good weekend and um i will catch you on the next one if you're not a subscriber hit subscribe hit the like button ring the bell leave a comment all that stuff helps and i appreciate it